office before the election that he would respect the right of tenants. As soon as he was elected, they've, they've already said they're going to cut housing benefit for council tenants who've been unemployed for the year. They're threatening to cut they're cutting housing benefit, they're cutting housing services and now Cameron says he wants to take away our secure tenancies. Well, we are here to tell him that he's not having our tenancies. When my mum got, her family got a council flat in Erdington, that was the first time in her life that they'd had running water inside their house. We are not going back to those days. We're not going back to the days of slums and poverty ghettos and second class citizens. The people of Birmingham, Birmingham council tenants have already seen off privatisation and we will fight again. If David Cameron thinks that he and his government can come and take away the rights that we and our parents and grandparents have fought for to have secure, affordable council housing, he's got another thing coming. So, tenants have organised a lobby of Parliament on the 11th of October, MPs first day back, to tell them, hands off our homes and hands off our rents. And we need to make sure that across Birmingham, and across every city, tenants see what this fight is about and take their place beside trade unions, councillors and MPs, anybody that we can get off the fence and in this fight with us to defend not just council housing but the whole of the welfare state that we created in the post-war years precisely because the market only means slums and chaos. We're not going back to those days, so join us, join Defend Council Housing in fighting to defend council housing and all our public services. Thank you very much, Paul, and congratulations to the organisers of this demonstration today. It's a very, very important demonstration to send a message to the government that we don't want any cuts and that we are not prepared to put up with their agenda which is welfare for the bankers but no welfare for the people of this country. And I would like to remind you the cost of the war in Afghanistan and Iraq is £3.2 million a day. The cost of replacing Trident, the nuclear submarine system, will be a total of £75 billion. Now how dare they say they have to close schools and hospitals when they are spending this kind of money on weapons and war. and they have now created a permanent war economy. Nine years the Afghan war has been going on. Nine years longer than the First World War, longer than the Second World War, and yet this war is not achieving any of the things that it claims to do. It is not about democracy, not about freedom, not about women's rights. It is a filthy imperialist war where more and more people are dying as a result of our government policy. Ed Miliband was elected leader of the Labour Party this week in Manchester. One thing he said in his speech was very good. He said the war in Iraq was a mistake. 
It's only taken him two million people on the streets and seven years, one million Iraqi dead to admit this. But he still says Afghanistan is the good war. It is not a good war. It is the same sort of war as the war on Iraq. And that's why I'd like to ask you to join us. We will be marching a lot over the next few months. We have lots and lots of things we have to defend. But please join us on November the 20th in London. We will be marching when NATO meets in Lisbon. We will be marching to say bring the troops home. No war in Afghanistan. End the occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan. Please join us. Thank you very much.